Hi, I'm Brian and I am the CEO and co-founder of Future Lab. I'm Clarissa and I'm one of the co-founders of Future Lab. Tong Wei and I'm the co-founder and CTO of Future Lab. So how did the idea of Future Lab came about? It actually came about when we graduated from overseas and we were coming back and I wanted to get into management consulting. I was a biochemist, so trying to go from biochemistry into management consulting was more tricky than I expected. My CV was pretty good, so basically every company I applied to, I would get an interview. As a young, fresh grad, that made me a bit arrogant, so when I applied, I was asked for an interview that night itself. But I was able to push it to the following week, but just because they replied to me so quickly, I thought I had a job in the bag. Um, so I went there, I didn't really prep for it, um, and then I realized that um, you need to prepare for management consulting interviews. I got my ass kicked by the interviewers. And that's when I found out as well. So if you don't get the job, um, you can't apply for the company for two years. So after I realized that and I realized how unprepared I was, I started buying all the books, you know, Victor Chang case studies. I went to Lawyer Forum, trying to find all the information I could get to, to help myself. But one thing I realized is that, that this problem wasn't only just for me. Actually, there was tons of people that had this kind of problem. And what we found is that we just couldn't find anywhere or anyone we could connect with to actually get the information we need. So that was the premise of the first ideation of Future Lab. And then obviously, I know my co-founders, Feng Wei and Clarissa, we all grew up together. So, and we always wanted to build something. But they had their own stories on why they wanted to build Future Lab. I really wanted to start something different and make an impact on the community. Uh, and on a weekly basis, uh, me and two of my best friends, Brian and Clarissa, we would actually sit down together and think about, you know, what could we potentially try to do as a business, right? And hopefully make that business grow uh, and actually move out from, I guess, the corporate lives that we had at that point. We would meet every um, Tuesday at a mamak or like at someone's house or something just to brainstorm ideas. You know, we we're like, okay, what is it that people need and you know, what can we do? We eventually settled on one thing to make a difference in learning and education because uh, we felt it was very relevant to us as individuals. We were all at this turning point in our lives where we were looking for something more and something better or the next step in our career as well. And really that's where Future Lab came from, you know? We, we thought, wouldn't it be awesome if we had a platform or a place where we could connect with exactly who we needed to connect to to answer all of these questions that we have. It took us four years to meeting up every day, every Tuesday over Shisha, talking about education, the problem we're trying to solve. It took us a long time. It really took us um, a lot of testing. By putting up uh, posts on social media, on forums, and trying to see who's interested. We roped in a bunch of friends and blasted out to schools. Hey, do you want to come um, learn about the banking industry or something, for example? And, and people showed up, you know? And the feedback we got was great. Um, so that was, you know, the starting point is that like, oh, people really want to connect with people in the companies they're interested in. So that's, from there, we just built on, built on. Eventually, we got cradle funding and the rest is history, I guess. Future Lab! Woo!